actually how to clean the snapper. What you do is you sharpen your knife like so, get it sharp, okay, get your snapper, just take a cut down here, make sure your knife's sharp and you've got, just take an incision down there, cut it down there, cut it along the backbone here, like that, just cut it like that, just go back a bit giddy please. See what I'm doing here now. Cut through here through the tail. All right. Now basically, just run your knife here, get it flush, and just cut away from the bone like this. And this will get you one fillet. This is how to fillet a snapper. Now these are winter reds. I caught in August yesterday. Now I've incisioned away there, so you can see how I've cut all the way in there. Now what you do basically now is take a cut up here. It helps if you've got a sharper knife and you cut all the way up here, like this. Cut all the way up through here. This will get you one big fillet. Now basically you just start at the tail and you just work your way up like this. You can see it's not leaving any flesh. Okay. You just you feel your knife run against the bone and you just keep pulling it and pulling it like that, sliding it. Now basically what you do is you get your hand here, up the front here, and you just pull it away like that, like that, and you're left with one big fillet, like this, I'll show you in a sec, left with one big fillet, like that, okay. You can see there's no flesh left behind. That's its guts and its all its organs. Now basically you just put that aside for a minute. Now I'll show you how to clean and bone a snapper. Basically what you do is you cut away the rib cage like that. Now if you wanted to, you could cook these you could cook those in a in soup or anything with the carcass there, with the head and the in the backbone, but this is the bit I want here, just this bit. And basically what I'll do is I'll turn it around, I'll start at the tail, act in the sawing motion, and just cut across like this, and just act as a saw, while pulling the skin at the same time, and then basically you've left with no skin, no flesh on that skin whatsoever, as you can see that. And just place that there. That's your fillet. Now, that's your fillet ready to eat. Now you've got a layer of bones that run down here. And what you want to do is, you just want to take a thinly, thinly sliced knife and cut either a side of the backbone here. And just cut away like that. You lose a tiny little bit of flesh. But when you've got a big snapper like this, doesn't matter. And there's your, there's your fillet ready to eat. Now what you could basically do when you're serving it in a frying pan, is just chop it into bits like that. And you can have little bite sized pieces. So what we'll do is you could just go like that. There's one bit for the frying pan. There's another bit. And you get four bits out of one fillet. And you just rightly roll them in flour and then deeply fry them in the frying pan. Now as I'll show you this, that's my fish there. Still got one side to do, but that's basically how you're left with a half like that. Okay, but the most important thing is you've got to have a sharp knife. This isn't very sharp. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.